Hey guys, and welcome back to the Week in Review. I'm Lighthouse, and this is what's happened in the past week in Black Desert. So, this week was all about the uproar around the Russian server transfer from GameNet.ru over to Pearl Abyss. Initially, Pearl Abyss said that nothing would happen, uh, it would be a smooth transfer, everyone's characters would be saved, accounts would be perfectly fine, and players would be able to just keep on playing once the server transfer is complete. However, a few days ago, there was a new announcement by Pearl Abyss that said that they had not been able to come to terms with GameNet.ru in order to transfer the servers over. And as a result, everything would have to start from scratch, there would be no characters or accounts saved, and everyone would be starting over from nothing. Now naturally, everyone was furious, there was huge uproars, Russians were really angry because they were losing all their accounts and progress and all the money they'd spent. North America, EU, and other players from regions that do not have Pearl Abyss as their publisher were worried about the prospect of potentially losing their own server, as those servers could all be transferred over uh, once everything changes. One second. There we go. So, because of that, uh, there's been a huge uproar in the community. The last probably about five days has everyone talking about this. And today, there was a brand new announcement from Pearl Abyss that announces that they were actually able to come to terms with GameNet.ru uh, or Webinar Holdings and get the server data after all, which means that accounts will not be wiped, characters will be saved, and the Russian server will continue once it is reopened under Pearl Abyss. So naturally, this has been pretty much everything that's gone on this week. There's been memes about it, there's been frenzied discussion, lots of debate, but I'm happy to announce that the Russian server will be continuing as scheduled, just like it was supposed to, with players being able to keep their accounts, their characters, and their progression all saved. So, that is the big news for the week. However, other news that kind of managed to sneak in unnoticed was that there are some new leaked photos of the male archer. So, instead of being called the male ranger, it is now being called the archer class. He's just the archer, not male anything. And he's going to be showing off at TwitchCon fairly soon. So these are some leaked pictures of him. You can see that he's clearly he is a ranger type character. Uh, obviously he's not the ranger, but he's got a great bow, which is his awakening weapon. We know he's got a crossbow that mounts to his hand for his pre-awakening, which is this. And then he's got a magic gauntlet as well that he uses to summon spirits to help him in battle. So these are just some pictures of him. Looks pretty good. Uh, Pretty excited for him to come out, but we still have no ETA or timeline for when he should hit the Western servers. Finally, let's uh, take the weekly look at how the servers are doing. So, as always, we'll look at Steam charts. Um, not great. I think, did it even hit 12,000 this week? I don't believe it even managed to hit 12,000 this week at its peak. Uh, it almost did, 25 under, so I mean, it's pretty close. But clearly, once again, uh, the number's not looking great. We haven't hit 12,000 even once this week, whereas last week we at least managed to hit 12,000 uh, a couple times even. So, steady downward trend, but we're not hemorrhaging players like the, we did back in August. Uh, it's more of sort of a steady decline at this point, just because... Uh, well, there's no one uh, No one really wants to play Black Desert at the moment because nothing new is being released. Dragon, still on table. Uh, Archer, still hasn't been released. So we're missing quite a few things that would really allow people to come back and want to play the game. Definitely a pretty far cry from back in December when we had a high of 26,000 players on at once on Christmas. January 22,000, February 20,000, March 19. Uh, March to April, April to May was the only real positive trend for a little while. And then massive loss in the summer. Decent jump back up in uh, August, September with the remastered version. And now we're steadily losing players. So hopefully Dragon, Archer, and maybe some other nice updates will come along soon. And revitalize the game, bring players back, bring veterans back. But for now, uh, I'd expect to see us just continue to lose a couple dozen to a few hundred players a week as players go to other games and wait for nice updates to hit Black Desert. Anyways, guys, that is the Week in Review for the week ending on the 17th of October, 2018. 
As always, comment below what you think. Obviously, the big uh, item this news cycle is that the Russian server is saved. Uh, all happened within a week. Russian server was lost. Now Russian server is saved, or at least the accounts were. Uh, Archer, pretty excited for him, but we've been talking about him for a couple months. We still have no idea when he's coming out to North America or EU. And as for the game itself, uh, no real changes. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked it, and have a good one.